My name is Jennifer Lisieff. I'm a professor in biomedical engineering and ophthalmology and director of the Translational Tissue Engineering Center at Johns Hopkins. I've been working in regenerative medicine for almost 20 years. So biomaterials are used throughout the body, from breast implants to pacemakers to dental implants, really all over the body. Historically, implants were made of synthetic materials. Uh, we're very interested in understanding and mapping the immune response and pretty much any cell that responds to these implants. Now, more recently, biomaterials have shifted also to being more biological, to promoting tissue repair and tissue healing. We want to understand and look at the differences between the map of the whole cell environment around an implant that promotes regeneration versus one that might induce a response in the body and fibrosis. So we use single cell RNA sequencing technology to study thousands and thousands of cells around a biomaterial implant to create a map of what's going on around these materials. We looked at one particular cell type capturing thousands of macrophages. Macrophages are an immune cell that gather around materials. They can be responsible for negative outcomes like scar formation, or they can be responsible and play a key role in regeneration. So how can we understand what these cell types are doing and how biomaterials can be used to modulate them? So using this new technology to study uh, macrophages, we were able to define macrophage populations that were associated with regeneration, new populations that had not been identified before. But more importantly, we found new populations of macrophages associated with fibrosis around implants. And what's interesting is that these macrophages were also present in various diseases. So the biomaterial served as a model for understanding macrophages that could be applied to other diseases associated with fibrosis. So we're using biomaterials to model different environments in the body. Uh, this allows us to create a human cell atlas associated with diseases using these model systems, but then also build new biomaterials to help promote healing in the body.